and we return to Houston Legends, the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has identified individuals who've really made some marks here in the Houston area, Hispanic or not. At the end of the day, a great Houston is good for all of us, and one of those individuals is Neil Bush joining us today. Thank you so much. The first time you and I visited uh, was at your offices, uh, which is really a museum in my opinion. <laughs> your travels across the world, in particular your travels to China, yeah. the uh, relationships that you've established there. But for folks who may not know Neil Bush, Tell them a little bit about yourself. Growing up as one of the Bushes, you know, what was your well, role? Were you the quiet one, the I mischievous was Mr. one? I was the you Mr. Were the perfect. Fun one. You were perfect. According to my brothers, they're a little jealous, but yeah. they've given me the nickname Mr. Mr. Perfect. perfect. Some of the sarcasm. Okay. So when my mom would ask, yeah. you know, who's going to help with the gardening? I'd I always volunteer. volunteer. Who's going to be the, the guy groceries. to help with the trash? I'd be the guy to help. Who's uh, going to clean the dishes? I'd be the guy to volunteer. All my siblings were kind of sitting back, uh -huh. knowing I'd volunteer. Sure, yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like I was every family playing. needs one of those, right? Um, so I'm clearly not perfect in, yeah. in any respect. I think one of the life-changing moments in my in, in my development as a human being yeah. was when I was 20 years old. My dad moved to China. Mm -hmm. um, this was in 1975. He became what has he's become famously known as the bicycling ambassador. China was in the dark days of the Cultural Revolution. There was no freedom. Hundreds of millions of people, and they lived in poverty. They were all equally poor, yes. um, but they couldn't choose who they're going to marry, where they're going to live, what they're going to do in their lives, and that kind of thing. Today, there's been an explosion of freedom, so that there, are, you know, I don't know, 600 million people have been lifted out of poverty. I've been going to China for the past 43 years and have witnessed this incredible transformation. Yes. Um, and I've, I've been doing it with two hats. One, business. I, do, I have a lot of business relationships, um, some of which impacts Texas, which I'm proud of. Um, but two, I believe uh, that uh, along with my father's core belief that the U.S.-China relationship is the most important bilateral relationship in the world, that China's rise is not a threat to the United States. In fact, it's an opportunity for two nations of economic strength to work together to try to solve you know, growing human challenges. Mm -hmm. And so, so I, I, I started the George H.W. Bush China-U.S. Relations Foundation. We've got other relationships we're developing, which I'm very excited about. So I'm, I'm, I'm a big proponent for better understanding, more trust, more collaboration with China. And Houston should be at the epicenter of all this. Mm -hmm. One, because my dad, you know, this is his home and it's his legacy. Uh, but two, Houston has a lot with the medical, the energy, all the stuff we do. There's a lot of room for collaboration with the well, Chinese. We know today this is a global market. And as you mentioned, key to this is certainly China. Right. The countries involved with NAFTA, with Mexico and Canada, yes, yes. is that uh, we must take advantage of those opportunities. And I don't think any other city is better yeah. positioned than Houston is. Right. So thanks for your efforts there. So did you know as a young child growing up in the Bush family that this would be the area that you'd be, or what did you think you wanted to do when you were a young child? Um, no idea. Yeah. No idea. I was just kind of going with, I started as an oil man. Okay. I became a land man for a company called Amico Production Company. Yeah, BP that. bought yes. Amico. Yes. Um, I learned that trade. I became an independent oil man for a few years. Uh -huh. And then I, I dabbled in education. I started a little education company. Um, I've got, I'm more entrepreneurial at heart. Uh -huh. Um, and now most of my focus is kind of business development, working with groups to try to help solve their problems yeah. in building new things. So we're trying to build a new Texas medical center-like yes. complex in the southern part of Beijing, for example, okay. which is very exciting. I've got, I've, the, last year there were a couple of pretty significant investments that came from Asia into the U.S. that I had a hand in helping with. Um, one was a healthcare thing, one's a food-related thing. So my, my life is fascinating from a business perspective because I see so many different things. I'm not locked into a boring job yeah. at a bank, you know, offense yeah. of people working in yeah, banks. Yeah, no offense <laughs> to the bankers. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you know, and I try to teach, I've tried to help my kids understand and I, and I pray every morning that they find something they do every single day they have joy in doing, that they jump out of bed with and are joy in their hearts. Yeah, and then not yeah. they don't feel like the work they're doing is labor, right. but rather something joyful. Impactful. And I have a I have a very joy my life is very, very joyful right. from family and friends and yes. the work I do and the charitable charitable causes, the Bush family legacies yeah. I pursue. I'm I'm the luckiest man 
on earth. Wonderful. And that I'm matching with yeah, you today this. makes me even more good. special. I yes, feel, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. It's holiday so one season. last question regarding holiday yes. season. So okay. I know this has been a particularly tough year for the Bushes, but pre-2018, you show up for family dinner. It's Thanksgiving. It's Christmas. What's the conversation at the table? Do you talk politics? Um, Do you avoid politics? It's a potpourri of it's stuff. It's a rare. It's mostly a potpourri of family-oriented things. Okay. Rarely do we talk politics. So it's more, Only, what have you kids been up to? Where have you yeah, been? Yeah, exactly. Mom, mom giving advice, mom, dad talking so more. So my mom lived a very long and and you know uh, mindful life. She was she was the sharpest yes. all the way to the very end, and she kept her sharpness because she was the world's class class one gossip. She kept track of everything everybody was doing in the family. Uh, I don't know. We had a we, at our family table. We'd probably just be talking about different family members and friends and things, and to kind of maybe pretty typical, but uh, not politics. We occasionally we have a little too much to drink, and I yeah. I have contrarian views with some of my brothers, and my mom put a put a kibosh on any yeah, political yeah. talk. Very good. Ago. Yeah. Well, wishing you a, a joyous Lada, you know, thank you very season, much. and thanks for all you do for Houston and your relationship with the Houston thank you Hispanic for what you Chamber do for of Houston. Commerce. You're, you're the one that should be a, considered a legend. Well, maybe I'll interview myself on the next. <laughs> <segment. Who laughs> I'll knows? do the interview. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I like it. Yeah. On behalf of Q57 and the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, thanks for joining us here with Houston legend Neil Bush. I'm Dr. Laura Murillo. Happy holidays. <laughs>